Hello everybody. So I'm currently doing this on my phone, so I apologize. I don't like know where to look or anything. Um, I'm in kind of a predicament. I thought I would be able to have someone record my speech, but plans changed. So thank goodness for technology. Um, so I'm doing my speech on communicating with patients when um, you're a dental hygienist. And the reason why I'm choosing it to do over this topic is because after East Central, after I get my associates in applied science, I plan on becoming a dental hygienist. Um, but that's about four to five years down the line, maybe three to four years down the line. Um, so I've wanted to be a dental hygienist ever since I was a freshman in high school, which now was about, well, oh my goodness. It was nine years ago. It was a long time ago. It feels like forever. But anyways, um, I've known ever since then that I want to be a dental hygienist. And this project kind of helped me look into, like, um, you know, the articles about dental hygienists and their offices and how you can make your office run smoothly. Because the way it works is... In a dentist's office, you have your assistants, and then your hygienist, and then your dentist, and then um, your orthodontist, and they do the specialty work. So, I would be up above the assistant. It's a little bit more schooling than the assistant, and of course, you get a pay grade, uh, a pay raise. So, um, when I was when I was doing the annotative bibliography um I just learned that you know there is a lot of communication that has to do with this profession and I'm not scared about it because I communicate really well with people um and I love meeting new people and talking to people and that's a big part of being a dental hygienist um, because they are the ones that take you in, show you your file if you're a new patient, um, and just make sure all your current work is up to date. And, you know, they're like the, the middleman, you know, but they do all the work besides every little critique that your teeth need. So... They clean your teeth, they do the x-rays, they talk to you about care, everything. You know, the dentist or the orthodontist or the special specialty dentist, they're only in your room for maybe, maybe two to five minutes to just tell you exactly what you need to do to get the right smile or the way your jaws line or whatever it may be um, that you're there for at your appointment for. So um, when I did my annotative bibliography, I uh, found two articles and um, this one was, they were both on the web. So this one says, according to David Little, the goal of effective communication is simple, to empower our patients with knowledge required to make an informed decision about their oral health or cosmetic desires. So basically what he's saying is, if you communicate with your patients, you know, in an effective manner, there won't be any kind of lag um, in between, you know, like knowing the correct care and what your insurance said, um, because that's a big deal too with your teeth, you know, if you have a job where you pay insurance, um, it's expensive, it's really expensive. And so I'm in charge of, well, when I become a dental hygienist, I'll be in charge of, um, you know, telling you exactly how much your insurance is going to cover, how much it won't cover, what you will need um, to pay out of pocket, and also what we can do, like, to set up a payment plan for you. Um, and what I didn't know is that a lot of dentists, they actually have really good payment plans that, that they can set up for you. Um, like I was with an orth orthodontist in Washington um, for a job interview and I was there for about three days and this one woman needed a lot of work done 
and the dentist's office was like, you can pay, you know, $200 down and then we can do $20 payments a week. You know, it was just really reasonable. Like I never knew that it was that obtainable, you know, um, because when you think about dentistry and braces and braces are like 10 to 15 plus thousand dollars, it's outrageous. Um, and that's also why I picked the profession of dental hygienist because you have teeth, everybody has teeth, you know, and they're always going to need to be taken care of. So, um, and also it's a confidence thing, you know, growing up, I always was told I have a really pretty smile and that was like my thing. So I focused on that so much and, you know, I always just compliment other people on how they look. I think it's important and, you know, with being a dental hygienist and working with your other um, employees in the building, you know, you become a really close-knit family. And I think that communication is 100% like it needs to happen. It needs to have good communication in a small building. There are some buildings and uh, businesses in St. Louis that are bigger, you know, like the really big buildings that have like maybe 30 like little, excuse me, little offices inside, but the ones that are around here, like Union and Washington, they're family owned, you know, so they have maybe six employees. So you are really close knit. And if you don't have good communication in that close knit family in the workplace, then it's just not going to run as smoothly. Um, and so the other one I the other um article I found online was Lay Richards and she did just this article about um other tools we can use to communicate with the people in our workplace outside and inside work and a really big one that she talked about was Facebook and so obviously if it, we use Facebook for everything you know I've had my Facebook for probably like, hmm, I've had it off and on because I go on Facebook strikes, but that's not important right now. But, um, but she was just talking about how Facebook can be beneficial to your company and to communicating in the workplace with your employees. If I were the boss or to my boss, um, you know, like if you do become a close knit family, you most likely will have them on Facebook. Uh, I know when I go to some interviews, you know, they do ask, can we look at your Facebook? Like it's, it's a very prominent thing to be asked during an interview these days because everything is about media, you know, everything. Um, so I think it would be important to, um, have that in, in your workplace. Um, I mean, if I, when I become a dental hygienist, if I, if I want to stay close to that work family, I would most likely add them on Facebook because I'm on there a lot. Um, just because it's the way I communicate with my family and friends that aren't, you know, 10, 15 minutes away from me. So, um, yeah, so I guess, you know, all in all, with everything that I've learned with doing this project was that, you know, I thought that you just needed to have some communication to do this job, but it really is all about communication with everything, um, which makes me really like it even more. So honestly, that's, that's okay with me. Um, I guess, oh, I guess I should have done it this way the whole time, but a little too late now. <laughs> um, but I think as the years go on, you are going, it, you know, like technology is just, it's going to take over and you're going to want to have a different platform to be able to communicate to people on. Some people are good on the internet and some people aren't. Um, so I think now while you can, you know, like learn about it, you know, um, and if you own a business, you know, make a business page, you know, something like that and add your coworkers or employees to it. Um, so I'm really excited to 
start the journey to become a dental hygienist. Um, and, you know, maybe reading articles about, you know, the communicating in the work life of a dentist's office, maybe I could write my own, um, my own paper or my own article, you know, about my experience. So, um, thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry I babbled a little bit. Uh, today is my birthday. I'm 23. So it kind of just makes me wonder, you know, about, about life really and where I am in it. And, uh, I'm really thankful for everything I have, but everything happens for a reason. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Thanks.